Welcome back. Here we are once again with part two of flying the F4U from Arrows. You remember the last time we checked it out, it uh, flew once and then the ESC packed up. Well, we have a new ESC installed in, very easy to install, and that was done this morning when it arrived in the post. And here it is a rather bleak sort of a day. It was a beautiful morning, but now the clouds come over. The wind is from the southeast and that's coming at around about 19 kilometers an hour. So we'll give it a bit of a test, see how it goes. Then we'll take it to the beach and uh, try it down there. But I do like this area here with a lot of open field in case anything goes wrong and I need to bring it down very quickly. I've got plenty of room. So let's give it a try. Okay, so being the southeast, she'll go straight out in that direction. I'll use this little bit of a bald spot here to get it up and going. I've got the battery pushed right to the front and it's a 2200 three cell. Taken the tray out and I've got it right into touching the motor. Yeah, she seems to be okay. I think the um, elevators are up too much. I'll have to bring her down. Oh, there she is. Right. I bought this little tool with me just to adjust the elevators, so I'll just readjust them again. I might have just adjusted it too much. Right, bring those down, that one down. That's about level, and we'll tighten that up again. Right. <clears throat> The wind's certainly catching it. That's much better. She's flying much better this time. Much better. So that's good. Take the wheels up. And there she is in its original profile. Oh, it flies so much better than the Hobby King one, that little 800 millimeter. That was a dreadful aircraft for me, at least. Not for everybody else, but anyhow, this one is going well. Okay, I'll see how she handles the camera. I'll bring her in. Wheels down. Probably don't need too many flaps. I've got takeoff flaps in it. So if we get it in this mud, we'll be right. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Know why the undercarriage wasn't down. That's where the problem was. Strange. I'll have to check that to see why that undercarriage. I think it just popped out. The owned carriage was uh, like this. Ah. 
and there's a pin there, so that pin has to go probably, let's see, the pin goes in there. I see. Pin just swings around. I'll check it. Well, unfortunately, we have a problem with the wheel and I think I'm not going to chance taking it off today because the wheel is too wobbly and wonky. After two flights, it's not doing very, very well at all. And uh, I will have to take it back to the hangar and check it out and see if we can fix that wheel. We're back at the hangar and I've taken the retract apart had a look at it, it's not working at all now, so it'll have to be replaced. In the meantime, I have the undercarriage, I'll put some ties on it, and the undercarriage will remain up until I get a replacement for the retract here, and it'll probably have to come in from Hong Kong. But uh, I'm not very happy, it hasn't been a very good model. I seem to have bad luck with these uh, F4U aircraft. Um, all my other ones working okay perhaps just bad piloting but anyhow that's the way she lies at the moment I'll take it to the beach tomorrow and check it out seems to fly okay but the undercarriage is the problem now ESC was the first one and now the retractable undercarriage is not working you saw on the video how it just didn't retract and that's where the damage was I didn't notice it when I was coming into land and it's uh, pulled it out or wrecked it so, back to the drawing board. We'll see you in the next flight.